Hello everybody and welcome back to Plot 97A. My name's Simon. How are you all doing? I hope you're all really, really well. Well, over the last few days has been absolutely stunning down here on the south coast. We've hit 28, 29, just, just unbelievable. Oh, it's summer, summer's here. And you know it's summer because it's Glastonbury weekend. It's Friday the 28th today and the South Coast just comes alive with holiday makers and the place is absolutely buzzing. So, thank you, <laughs> here comes the sun. Long hot summer, Paul Weller once said, let's have it, let's, let's, let's have a real good back half of the year. Welcome to the tour everybody. It's, um, yeah, it's just been absolutely, it's a thrill. It's, it's just a joy to be down here. I just wanted to show you, this is the the feed that I was first using um, on the tomatoes and the chilies. It's not expensive. I think that was about £2.50 uh, in the local hardware store. And that's, it's perfectly, it's, you know, it's a perfectly good feed. But let's just go and show you uh, Magic Elixir. <laughs> I could keep calling that. So this is our comfrey and nettle mix and it's 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 super red Let's see how nice and dark that is full of nutrients and it's actually started to smell so it's more of a su sweeter smell it's uh it's not as pungent on the nose as, as what it is but that's we've been using that now and it's because it's friday feed on friday uh all the toms all the chilies will will Get a little bit of that i'll probably put like half a bucket into a five liter and seven liter watering can um but it uh it's all nice and ready for us to use and look at that tree remember i kind of tried to see if i could get a little bit of a bonsai well it's all started to relief on the top so and that's just been sat there and it's quite happy now and some of the leaves can you anyone tell me what plant what plant it is i, th I don't think it's a tree i think it's a shrub um, but yeah, I'm gonna probably keep it in that that pot for this season. I just let it let it establish its roots because it got dug up. But yeah, very very happy. And the artichokes or the sunchokes, which which we now know, um, the member of the sunflower family. Some of the leaves are looking a little bit limp. I've given everything a really good water today, um, this morning before I. Uh, that was my first job because I say just the temperatures have been incredible. This is our horseradish, and apparently you can eat the leaves. So I've uh, been genning up on horseradish, and that's going to sit in there until next season. We're going to harvest it, but yeah, everything strawberries. Now I've left all the strawberries, but one of the lady gifted us some strawberries yesterday, and we was eating strawberries for for breakfast, and they were absolutely delicious. So here comes the sun. It's been a little bit overcast today, but you can see it's just been just been perfect, perfect growing conditions. Right, let's go and have a look into the polytunnel. Now I've not watered in here today yet because everything's going to get a feed. But just looking at our Carolina Reaper, it's, it's um, started to stretch out and it started to put a few flowers on, which is which is a real real bonus. And we're not going to get the crop we got last year off of it. But if we can get a few off of there and keep it going for next season, obviously it got set back uh, where where the ants' nest was in was in the pot in the greenhouse, and I took all the, I took the, took it out of the pot, washed all the compost off, and repotted it. So that knocks it back a few weeks, but it's um, we've kept it going, which is which is such a thrill. And our garden pearl have just exploded with flower. And we've got quite a few, well, not quite a few, we've got a few tomatoes started to appear. But the flowers have just, just exploded. It's, it's, it's just this heat, it's been absolutely incredible. And our tomatoes, <laughs> did I plant them too close together? Of course I did. I didn't give them enough room. That was that was my biggest mistake in in pretty much everything, to be honest. But they, they, they're looking really good. I've been trying to manage them as best I can with the side shoots uh, and I've taken like I said, I've taken a few leaves off of the bottom to try and create a nice bit of an airflow so we we're not going to uh, um, 
just to try and discourage the blight but overall first time this video very very happy and I just wanted to show you some of these these for me just I'm pretty sure these are MR man's they're a beefsteak tomato and just just brilliant just really 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 happy um, the biggest mistake or the biggest error I made I've put the taller ones at the front which you know the ones at the back um, but again that's a learning curve uh, for me and I've, I've unfortunately I've I've forgotten what ones I've put in. I didn't label them. Another, another silly thing to do. So next season, they're all going to get labels. Um, but as the tomatoes produced, I've got a catalogue um, of what, what we had. And as the tomatoes produce, we will uh, be able to determine what, what variety they are. But I know that these are plums. Look at these. Beautiful beautiful so I'm, I've, I've looked and pretty much not all not every plant but the majority of the plants have started to produce some some fruits now I saw some on the money maker where did I see the ones on the money maker this morning oh it's right at the back I do apologize guys but there's one there's, there's a couple I don't know whether you can see them right at the back so I'm super thrilled first time growing you know, you, you you can read, you can watch videos, but until you actually get hands on and doing it, um, it's yeah, it's it's a real thrill. But the heat inside here has been, even with the door open, you know, doors open, windows open, it's still two or three, four, five degrees hot, warmer in here, uh, and they they're not getting that direct sun, but you know, you know they're. They've done. Very, I'm very. I'm. I'm really happy with it. It's. Um, and again, it's still quite early on in the season. You don't really. You know. You think. Oh blimey! It's been going. We've been going for a few weeks now. But it's still quite early. I mean, we're just coming into July. We've got July, August, September. And so yeah, overall, we've got some bigger hoops. And now I've been lent these. Now I was going to buy some, and you can only buy 25 or 50 meters from the builders merchants so someone has very kindly lent me them uh, and all I need to do and I'm gonna actually get some netting from that big online um, shop because it's, it's just cheap the cheapest that they can do and they do like five six seven or five six ten meters um, and it's quite kind of a fine mesh but our carrots where I had the, the glass on really haven't germinated at all i think there might be a couple that are starting to germinate but the the parsnips have started uh, have germinated or some of them have and some of the carrots which i'm going to be thinning out and like i say i'm going to wait another couple of days a few days if, if i don't get any germination i will just uh, spread thin those out and, and pop them in and see how we go but it's all going to be met netted and the greatest vegetable in the world the brussels sprouts they're doing really well standing tall uh, but again i'm taking the the white that's actually underfloor heating um tubing and i'm going to be putting this blue tubing all the way through and have one big net over it so but overall <laughs> very very happy and let's have a look at the squashes this for me was the, the, the best thing I've done all week was being able to tie some of these and this one and this one I'm sorry about the wind there might be a little bit of wind noise everybody so I do apologize for that but they've they've started to attach themselves uh, on their own to to the cage so it's all starting to the plans all coming together this, and even this one in the that we had in this top box, it didn't do anything. It's just started to um, just started to perk up a little bit. But yeah, it's you know it's all coming together. The growth is just the growth spurt over the last week has been unbelievable. I just want to show you this is one of the the um, I think they're pink banana. They've actually started to produce a few, but I'm not gonna 
I only kind of want half a dozen off of each plant. Um, that I, another thing that I've learned, you don't want, the plant will only produce a certain amount, which is why you do get a lot of them kind of dying back, rotting, because it just hasn't got the energy uh, to produce hunt, you know, produce tens. It will only produce half a dozen, something like that. So we're going to manage it. But as for the runners, they can go all over that cage. So, but we'll have, have poor, poor Belotti beans. I have succession, success, success, right, succession zone, and they are starting to come out, but they've just been they're looking very very sad <clears throat> and i just walked around and a gentleman's runner beans around the side he is he's just absolutely smashed it he's got a um his canes are full they're all full of flowers um so i need to ask him i need to ask him what his recipe is but just just kind of nice to it it was just such a such a thrill to to start tying the runners on and when you see them shooting up and trying to grab hold of the cage putting their own um their own runners around the cage and trying to hold on it's yeah plans potentially coming together but all the plants have had i'll give them all a feed a comfrey feed and and some of the leaves have got to say it's just exploded with this it's it's just it's been this outstanding weather but one thing you do need to I have done is I've come down here, I haven't watered every day, I've, I've given them a good, good drink once every other day. So let's just have a look at our cosmos oh my, and the cosmos is, oh, what can I say, I doff my cap sir because you were so bang on. I've not topped them at all and look at the growth over the last week or two, well over the kind of the last month but they really have started to to put on a show no flowers yet but i'm expecting a bit of an explosion and i might have to i might have to trim trim a few off but look at our sweet peas flowering and just standing here now the smell is incredible but the actual plant themselves have um you know we i was worried about it four weeks ago but somebody just tapped me on the shoulder and went, Simon, don't worry, they'll they'll take off, they'll do what they need to do. And she was absolutely right. So I'm going to be starting to pick some of these now. Because I think the more you pick, the more it'll produce flowers. But just, just, just very, very happy. The celeriac are all, are all going good. Um, they're starting to form their bulbs at the bottom standing tall again i've given everything a really really good drink this morning i was down here kind of you know i haven't done let's like say the polytunnel or the greenhouse because i'm going to give everything a feed but the beetroot just exploded it's just such a it's just it's such a thrill to you know produce something from from start to finish from seed and i've just popped our onions in onions in along there but let's show you the sunflowers, just stand out a little bit. Looking really, really healthy, really strong. Got a few a few uh, flowers have just started to appear there. But I was actually watching it, well it's a bit of an anniversary for, for me um, and for the channel and for, on the 30th um, of June, it's one year we've been on youtube one year and it's been one year since i had the confidence to just post a little video on the, the iphone 5 and, and stick it up online um, so it's come around so quickly but it's quite honestly been the best thing i've ever done in my life um, and that's no that's definitely no understatement and our dwarf sunflowers and you see how tiny that one now i thought that was a dwarf one because i put it in with the dwarf seeds uh, it was in the dwarf trays as it were but it's it's quite squat compared with the others so have we produced a dwarf sunburst i wonder ah, could we have uh, could we have <laughs> we haven't it's just a squat sunburst but yeah could we have cross pollinated could we? we're not that clever are we we're not that clever on this channel and uh 
chilies and peppers again we've got we haven't got much control but they are getting direct sun and they've just absolutely loved it they really really have and again today can you see it's, it was it was overcast this morning <coughs> excuse me but it's but the blue sky is just the sun has burnt the blue sky off uh, the clouds off and it's just going to be another absolutely scorching day down here the place comes alive the south coast holiday makers there's always things going on food festivals music festivals like i say glastonbury weekend i hope everybody enjoys their glastonbury weekend because it's just the greatest festival in the world these lilies the plants that keep on giving the dahlias still going really strong everything right let's go into the green now so <laughs> Can you see a bit of an explosion? Everything is just taken off, it really has. Um, this greenhouse has been an absolute game changer for me. So, you know, it's like, we, looking back again, I'll, I'll go over that at the end. But looking back from where we started to where we came, it's incredible. It's starting to produce the flowers. Now, this is what you, I kind of expected. As soon as you start to get flowers on, they will start to stretch because I want to give room for them for them fruits to uh them fruits to ripen but yeah have i got too many in here yeah definitely uh we'll, we we'll, we'll see how we go if i've got to start moving a few of these pots out um i will do because i'd say you, I, I, one thing i do know is when these go these chilies they they literally you know 5x the size and they might and they might even double from the size we've got here and lemongrass is doing okay and i picked a tray of wallflowers up uh like i say i'm going to give everything a good drink and then we got some proper proper thai Pro that's proper proper thai lemongrass but overall very happy you know generating a few flowers a couple of them have done you know just average and a couple of them have, have, have really done well so a bit hit and miss but overall very very happy. look at these marigolds these marigolds look at that flower that is just there's one i noticed these flower here look at that that kind of more golden brownie it's just beautiful but overall <laughs> last time i'm gonna say it very very happy well, i just need to do one thing sorry guys just move you out a little bit because uh, this camera if you don't touch the screen it switches itself off sometimes so June the 30th one year on YouTube it's been incredible it's been incredible and it's been incredible the generosity of people we've had the greenhouse the plots changed we got the beach hut but the most incredible thing that has happened has been you guys for watching the videos commenting on the videos or liking the videos but only if you like the videos i don't want you to do it if you don't because it will give me a true reflection and for subscribing it's just been incredible you have just been absolutely incredible you've lifted my confidence level in a year and we're probably we're probably hitting an eight now whereas kind of we were at a six a five and a half or a six this time last year so thank every single one of you for doing that and you're just doing it by watching the videos so thank you and i truly mean that uh, and our greatest i'm not i'm not gonna rank people but a very very supportive person to me has been ali and gerald from my rusty garden ali thank you for just being you just for just just growing for commenting um on a video for just putting saying the right thing lifting lifting the spirits mate you're an absolute superstar so thank you ali my rusty garden um you i i wish you all the you, you deserve everything you get mate because you're just you you both of you are just absolute superstars so well we're going to end it there glastonbury weekend i hope everybody enjoy I, i'm going to enjoy glastonbury i always love glastonbury um yeah it's just the great i love my music um i love just the whole thing about it 
so we'll see you all very soon have a great gardening week enjoy glastonbury if you're going to listen to it on the radio or you're there or you're watching it if you if you were there that and you watch this video 